That's right, people. Once again, this is number seven, and let's continue on with Sonic the Hedgehog 4, episode one. So last time we managed to get through Fall of Vegas in the form of Casino Street, uh, freeing the animals there, and of course thwarting Eggman once more. And now here we are in the Lost Labyrinth Zone, which, for own sake, is not as a big pain in the butt than the original Labyrinth Zone in the original Sonic the Hedgehog. At least with less water this time around, or probably more or less less water, but more puzzles to take on. So without further ado, let's get going! So, morning guys, you must Lost Labyrinth Zone Act 1. Ancient Maze of Mystery. So this is probably the first level where we would ooh. Can we lock on the homie attack right away? <laughs> so this as I as I was going to say, this is probably this is the first level where we will have to do some water, but luckily for us, not as much water as the original Labyrinth Zone in. Oh, come on. Yeah, so not as much water as the original um, Labyrinth Zone in Sun Hedgehog. Mostly puzzles, however, which is, of course, if you're not patient enough and you're not taking so much time, is really somewhat of a pain. Um. And of course, you also have those balls, but not really much of a big deal should you take your time. Okay, ooh. Thought I didn't, uh. Get my homie attack on there in a second. Ooh, so tempt- it's always so tempting. They always hate those- those spiky robot things. Now, I'm no expert- I forgot what they're actually called. I'm no expert of the actual names of these robots, but, uh, I'll uh, sure, just take the top one. But boy, don't they just. In, in this level, and in, in here in Sonic 4, they just, like right now, like here, they just like to be, you know, targeted as, as following as jump from the screen now, just simply avoid that one. Because those things are just as annoying too. In fact, they're just stretching though, they just have four spikes that surround them. Now the music here, I could have just gone, is that an invincibility thing there? I could have just gone that. Ah, damn Sonic, Sonic, Sonic so fast. Ooh, gotta get damage from that one. Kind of like a little bit rushing on there, ooh, get away. Now there was another shield there, oh well. Kind of a little bit of a gutsy move I did there. Didn't really charge up my spin dash there, but he just made it out. You have a little hole there just to before something gets crushed. Yeah, just at least this. Speaking of the music here, um, just how it's arranged. Now, if we could just. Oh, I can't really get a chance right there. Yeah, speaking of the music here, um, just how it's arranged always reminds me of levels in. Uh, Crash Bandicoot series. Now, if you remember, um, ah, I got a honey attack there. I think I missed time, but maybe not. Yes. Ooh. Probably did the Lord check on me not. Yeah, it's just every time I hear this song, it always reminds me of the. Just how it's arranged, it always reminds me of. The, Crash Bandicoot series of levels. Maybe one of those calmer, you know, jungle type kind of levels, you know, probably one of the first couple of games. Maybe some games have worked. And as you probably have, some of you guys might remember in my commentary for Mario and Sonic at the London Olympic Games, um, I grew up with the PlayStation, so um, of course the first two series of games that I probably got into were, of course, Crash and the other and uh damn I just lost my train of thought for a second there. Spyro. There you go. 
Yeah, and uh, it wasn't until um, um, when I first got into Sonic Adventure 2 that I finally got into the Sonic the Hedgehog series, but I didn't get my first Sonic the Hedgehog game until Sonic Heroes. And from there, that's how uh, it went right now. So here we are at 2, traversing through. Oh, shoot. Got a little more cautious here in these darker levels. So we're just essentially navigating through a, a dark puzzle here. Kind of reminds me. I think it was it wasn't there. I mean, I don't have. Wasn't there one level in uh, New Super Mario Brothers Wii that had like a dark level where? Of course, I think I remember playing this with a couple of friends the other day, or probably was the only one who was my cousins, and... Yeah, it has, has like, of course... That, I don't, I don't remember which level that was in New Super Mario Brothers Wii. But... At least it doesn't have as much obstacles as it is there than here. It's a little more easygoing, this level. Also, what I remember in this level is that, as we will see later, there will be puzzles that require, of course, that in order to um, access a certain part of stage, like like that one right now, those little blocks that come from lighting those torches there, there will there'll, there'll be this one puzzle where, you, in order to climb this one wall, you gotta, there's four I think there's four. I think there are. There, I think there are four. Four torches where you gotta. If you have to light them in a specific sort of timing in order to climb the blocks that form there and, and climb that wall. But of course, should you miss, should you not time them correctly, um, some of the walls that are activated from lighting those torches um, will block your path, and then you have to start all over again. The first time I played this level, I was just bummed. Ooh, no, no, no. Oh, oh. Lucky me. <laughs> I thought I fell to my death there, but I didn't. <laughs> yeah, so just not. I, I think I think we're almost there in that little puzzle area, but just mistiming that causes some of the blocks, you know, that open to block your path up. So you, there has to be like specific time. Ooh, a little too close there. Yeah, so it has to be like this particular, specific sort of timing in order to nav navigate your way up there. I think... This is it? Oh no, not yet. We're we getting there. for a time before it brings me up. Yeah, just essentially with this level and like the other levels, just to, you know, just given the maze-like structure and the fact that you're uh, navigating through dark, just gotta... Ooh. Or blow myself up there. <laughs> A little close to those giant square bombs. Oh, it's on a gap. Okay. Okay. Ah, here is the puzzle that I'm talking about. Now, you just, as you can see, probably I think yeah, it's only one of the blocks. One of the one or two of the switches causes that one, as you saw earlier, causes those two blocks to block each other. So, and you have to climb up the wall all the way to the right. So if you don't if you don't time the two switches lighting the two switches that light up um, those platforms, then you're essentially blocked and you have to redo it again. And that that portion. And ah, thank goodness I managed to make it across <laughs> first time I tried it. Probably was really tired back then, but uh nah. kinda used my homie tap too slow. Too late. Yeah, the first time I tried to navigate through that little puzzle, um, I didn't make it. <laughs> I reached a time limit and then I lost a life from there, which of course really sucked. Ah, uh, shoot. Oh, to the bottom again. Yeah, 
where's that switch? Maybe it's just right there. It can't be anywhere else, can it be? <laughs> Ooh. I always hate it when- Oh, come on! I thought I could've got a good blow on him. Sheesh. Boy, lots of dynamite. Okay. I think there's one probably below. Shoot. Damn you, Spikes! My goodness. So inconveniently placed. Maybe it was probably really unnecessary for me to really blow up those little blocks there. There goes my what? How many rings I have? Like 200 something? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. I don't think I should really have that one. I don't think that's really necessary. Ooh. There's my, ooh, some spikes in the ground. I have a bad feeling about that platform. Hopefully, it doesn't bring me down. Or not. Okay. Great. <laughs> Trolling platform is okay. Trolling necessary to go there. Let's see if I could time my jump. Oh, I'll do it early. Oh, shoot. And yay, one card. Probably your own swords from stretch. This portion always reminds me of um, Donkey Kong Country because. When I was younger, my favorite level was always those minecart levels. Maybe the first one. The second one, you can't jump build the cart itself, and it was filled with so many obstacles. Like, you had to really time your jumps carefully in order to get across. And, ooh. Guess that's it for that, for that little darkened level. <laughs> no time bonus, but I guess the rainbow is enough to get me an extra life. <laughs> yep. Gotta be cautious here and navigate. So here we go! Act 3, Underwater Maze Escape. Now this is where the real fun begins as we finally go deal with some ops with the uh, dealing with them obstacles while going underwater. But at least we don't have to really deal with finding hidden switches. Yeah, a little sense of nostalgia there. Yeah. Shoot! What a waste! <laughs> Gotta get a good homing attack range there, but I just didn't make it cross. Wow. Little corner like robots. <laughs> a little bubble. Ooh. Pretty lucky, I thought. We'll be shielded completely by that. So. Shields. Water bobble. Just in case, you know. Even though this is not as. Shoot. So it fires all those spikes. There we go. Oh, the sound of the water bubble hasn't changed ever since. Always a little, little brief sense of nostalgia there when she. Grab a water, water bubble. Yeah, speaking of the original, I think I have to tilt this. Yeah, here you gotta tilt this rock aside. And if I remember, there's this one portion where there's a spike in there, so you can't really go too far. And I think there's like a, there's a platform. Right? There's three platforms there. We'll just continue to get to you. All right. And I think there's a switch that you gotta open or not. You gotta go fast. Ooh, rock. Oh, maybe not. Oh my gosh, that little wall. So much tension. Uh, come on, Zad. Come on, Zad. Come on, Zad. Go faster. So much tension. No! And now you gotta, you gotta deal with water now. Come on! I'll screw that extra life. Big temptation. Come on, move it, Sonic. And the wall. Atrocity zone memories. Oh my goodness, it's just 
when it comes to those moving walls, just so much tension in the company in the company in it, it is. Those could be a way to get that little session. I think once we go to Fort Zone, I think that gear will have to deal with those walls again. Boy, wasn't that trust it wasn't running those away from those walls and I trust it so such so much tension too. Ah! Damn you spiky things. It's not like a total it's like a total movie just so you can see spiky things right now. So what? Not like a total nerd or anything. There's a switch there. <laughs> I like the fact it's like hidden behind that little uh, item box there. Oh, now here's the one with the spike. Can't really see it, but at least. Oh shoot! Kind of got a little too comfortable there. And then you can't. And the problem is you can't escape from that. You gotta get that block sliding down. And good thing. Hopefully, moving a little slowly without. That spy, come on, little four, come on, just a little more, come on, no, get it out, come on, get the block out, get it out, no, oh, <sighs> excuse me, I sound like a toll, like a little toll girl there. <laughs> Is that a switch? Damn it, uh, a little too fast. Boy, talking about those switches hiding behind those item boxes. How long it took me just to find that hidden switch in Labyrinth Zone Act 2. Just going around the place and oh! Okay. At least we don't have to worry about hidden switches and walls for now. Obviously not getting game bones for this. So on towards facing the evil doctor himself. Trap filled ruins. Well, unlike Labyrinth Zone, where it's like, you know, in order to. Ah, there you go, Amy. Hopefully, you're not running away this time. I think we just hit him for him. Yeah. Now, I'm not really too sure if. Should you get a hit before taking on, taking him on head on? Ah, shoot. Thought I could just now get him away with that spike. Yeah, I'm not too sure. <laughs> Just ah! Oh, spice. Yeah, I'm not really too sure if dealing with damage early beforehand that gives you, you know, allows you to uh, finish him off early. Yeah. Finish him right away. A coward-like villain should be. <laughs> All right, Doctor. Trap. This is probably the basic, probably the easiest boss, I would say, given you don't accidentally go in the wrong uh, place. Get a good jump from here, if you get a... Yeah. Not bad. Now we just gotta anticipate where the blocks are gonna be. I mean, once you know exactly where the patterns are, or you just know, or you, I mean, the easiest, probably the easiest thing is to figure is to know is to try to get a good close get a little closer to Dr. Eggman based on what blocks are thrown at you. Of course you got to wait a little smushed there. Ah! They get smushed! How'd they get smushed? Uh, at least you don't have to navigate through that. Or not. Yeah, shoot. Ah, there's no checkpoint. <laughs> Hopefully I don't end up making the same mistake as I did beforehand. Ah, come on, get up there, Sonic. There we go. It's <laughs> dodging it the same way, too. <laughs> I just didn't dash the cross. Yep. Yeah. 
I mean, this boss is simple if you, as long as you don't do anything, don't get too reckless and, uh, just, you know, just play it safe. You know, find, find, a, find a good location where you could just hit Dr. Amy and him on. Well, well, of course, keeping yourself from getting smashed between those blocks just moving. Yeah, I've seen this one before, hopefully I don't. Or not. Ooh! Alright. Simple hit there. Alright, Eggman! What track were you up to this time? Failed attempt in it. <laughs> it doesn't really sound like him, do I? <laughs> Besides, it's like voiced out by Roger Craig Smith. A little deeper voice to it. Master Ezio of Assassin's Creed. I don't even play this, that kind of those kinds of games. It didn't really interest me. Really more towards the platforming and racing types. Maybe some sports types. Especially hockey. I probably the same trap as before. Just go in the middle. Trying to move the wall! Ooh, I'm actually get a blow there. <laughs> that didn't get a lot of them. I wonder where those blocks are going. Ah, it's the same one again. <laughs> Three times in a row. Yeah, third, third time's a charm. No, I should walk on this time. Yeah, I mean, fairly straightforward from here, as long as, I mean, you're not dealing with... Ah, yeah, there you go! Before you even manage to engage the entire trap. <laughs> yeah, run away! Keep yourself fixed. And... Those animals saved. That's it for Lost Labyrinth, and for today! As we move on to the next one. I'm also not gonna get a bonus for this. Yep. So that's it for today, folks. As we manage to get through the trap filled ruins of Lost Labyrinth. Um I just had an adjective of mine, I just forgot what I had in mind. So next up. Mad Gear Zone. Hopefully, given whatever traps Eggman has set us beforehand in this zone, hopefully we don't get mad, and in the end, we'd be glad. Hopefully, you don't accidentally like see that that little slogan for is that the towels of class towel brand, isn't it? Yeah, hopefully, we don't be mad, but be glad later and. Um, for me to close this out. So once again, thanks for watching. Next up, Mad Gear Zone. This is Spocker7. Until next time, sayonara.